Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 28, 2023. Well, my goodness, we had quite the volatility on Friday after we waited for Jerome Powell to speak. We whipsawed down and then we reversed and whipsawed up as a relief rally finally seemed to be underway in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can glean a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, looking at the Dow here, pretty dramatic sell-off that we've had here in the market. And we finally had a good bullish response to some price support here on Friday. So if the bulls were to continue to find that inspiration here today, then let's see if we can rally up here. I'm gonna adjust that up just a little tiny bit. If we, if we can uh, challenge this resistance level in the chart. Notice that I've turned that line red just with that idea that we could push up in here, find that as resistance, and then continue our downside move here in the market. If you'll notice, it's a little bit hard to um, maybe envision at the moment, but we may have this possibility of a big old rounding top up here in uh, diamond. So what we need to see from the bulls is we need to see them reclaim this area of support up here and hold it as the higher low. Then we might be able to resume that upside trend um, and continue to move forward. Let's also keep in mind that if the bears were to find inspiration on the day and push back down, probably probably be looking for a retest of support down in here, which once again, remember, we kind of lost this upside trend uh, on Friday, not Friday, on Thursday, um, work to recover it on Friday afternoon, and we'll see if we can follow through up there and be able to hold that area as support in that trend. Now, keeping in mind, we still have a 50 day moving average up here that we also need to defeat um, if we're going to rally back to the upside. And if you'll notice, it's right across there in that resistance area where we also have this moving average congestion here, technical um, challenge that we'll also have to defeat. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also, nice little bounce on um, Friday and the good news here on uh, the SPY is that we made a little higher low here with that bounce off of this price support on Friday. So if we can continue to follow through to the upside here, if the bulls keep finding that inspiration to push up, let's look for a retest of this resistance level right up in here on the SPY. If we can get through that area, then maybe we push on through just a little bit higher. However, if the bears were to find inspiration on the day, then I would expect maybe a retest of Friday's lows to see whether or not that holds as support. And if that were to fail, maybe we come down here and test that level of price support. Let's take a look uh, technically here. We'll want to keep in mind that we have a pretty strong technical resistance in the chart with our short term moving averages having crossed down through the 50 and that's going to join right up with that price resistance level. So keep that in mind on the SPY as we continue to try and push on higher, relieving some of this short term oversold pressure. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ also very volatile in here. Um, big, ugly failure pattern there on uh, Thursday. Tried to recover on Friday. The good news there, here again is that we didn't make a new low. We have the possibility of a higher low in that chart, but unfortunately, if the bulls find inspiration today, we still have considerable resistance 
to be able to prove that we can get through up here and then keeping in mind we still have this overall downtrend in here that we're going to have to deal with and honestly we may want to make that downtrend look a little bit more like that that adds kind of a double whammy of resistance here in the chart on the QQQ. Now, uh, we also want to keep in mind on a technical basis, we've got to get back above that 50 day moving average. You'll want to notice that that 50 day moving average is flattening out and that our short term moving averages are crossing down through once again, creating that zone of resistance right in that area as we rally back. If we take a look at IWM, IWM, well, um, similar circumstances and the fact that we didn't make a new low well, that's not true. We made a new low by a few ticks, but as you can see, we responded bullishly to that um, support level that happens to be the 200 day moving average in IWM. And if we can continue to see that bullish push, then notice we've got these price resistance levels up in here that we'll need to challenge. If the bears were to find inspiration and push back down, I would look for a retest of this low here in the chart and if that were to fail then i suspect we could pull back if um to uh, the next level of price support if that were to show some failure and here again we have that situation where you can see this possible head and shoulders pattern could be working its way into the iwm technically speaking uh, we're well below our 50-day moving average meaning that we're going to have to break through some price resistance levels in the chart to get back up there and then notice that our shorter term moving averages are crossing down through that area and we're starting to see that 50 day moving average back in a decline mode. It's just ever so slight, but a little decline there in the IWM creating that technical resistance level. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX on Friday picked up a little bit of a relief and we had shot up here on that uh, that failure that occurred right after Jerome Powell uh, mentioned that, hey, more interest rates could be on the way. We popped up here with some fear and then by the end of the day reversing back down. So what have we got going on here? Well, we still have that situation where we broke that downtrend here in the chart and we started an uptrend. With the bullishness this morning, perhaps we'll see that uptrend break a little bit. We'll see that little bit of bullishness pushing in here, break that uptrend. Um, we'll see if that holds throughout the day. But if it does, then look for a retest of this support level down here in the chart on that VIX. There is considerable uncertainty um, in the market that we're trying to deal with. And if you saw any of the news, um, Evergrande over there in China, one of their major developers um, is collapsing and we are seeing more and more problems coming out of China. So we'll have to keep pretty close eye on this. And then with the prospect that we may continue to raise rates, obviously we have some issues here to be worried about although we are oversold and need a bit of a relief rally. If we take a look at our T2122, it's going to show us that evidence that the relief rally um, is beginning here. On uh, Friday, we had that push back up. We've come up out of this bullish reversal zone here in the market on T2122. And now we'll need to see if that can continue to relieve some of that selling pressure in the market. Keeping in mind that if the bears were to find reason for inspiration today, then we still have um, that reversal that could occur in the market. So we've opened up space for that potential back to the downside. If we take a look at our T2108, well, by golly, T2108 finally saw a little bit of relief on Friday, picking up here just a bit. If you look across, however, we've got a considerable level price resistance in T2108 to break through to get above about that 35 percent area. If we can push through there, then maybe we can come up closer to 50%. And that would be a nice relief rally if we could get up into there. So keeping in mind, only 
28, 29% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average on Friday is an oversold condition in the market, helping us potentially get that relief rally. But it's also showing us that there's a lot of weakness yet in the market and still that uncertainty that we're going to have to deal with. If we take a look at our T2107, now T2107 did a little bit better job on Friday. Notice that we ended up holding a higher low right there, just ever so slight as we pushed on up 45 and a half or 44 and a half percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average so we're hanging in here a little bit stronger than we are on the uh, 40 day and if you'll look right in here we've got a little tiny bit of price support in here to be thinking about and keep in mind if we can continue to relieve some of this pressure we're going to run into some price resistance levels up here as we push up toward that 50% um, in the chart. So watch that closely on T2107. Now, T2101 is a little bit of concern for me because T21 is showing us as we relieve the, the selling pressure here in the market that the uh, the breadth of the market is declining. So what that means is, is we're not seeing as much energy in the upside relief to the market that we saw in the selling wave. Now, one of the reasons that can be a problem is if we continue to rally and get that relief on weakening um, upside moves, then what we can see is that embolden the bears and they push back with another bearish wave. So watch that closely as we rally toward those resistance levels. It may not be a reason to buy. Um, it may be a reason to look for some short trades just in case we run up there into those um, resistance areas and see more selling. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is relatively light today, not a whole lot going on. Whoops, let me see if I can find it. Um, not a whole lot going on today. We've got Dallas Fed manufacturing numbers, and that is a consensus number. And this has been a very, very bearish number. Um, consensus looking for a minus 21 on that as we continue to see our manufacturing um, declining. And so far, we've just really don't care. Um, so that may continue here today as well. If we take a look here, we've got bond auctions that we'll want to be paying attention to. Remember, it's the short end of the curve of, of bond auctions that saw uh, some increases on Friday, but it is easing off just a little bit this morning, trying to provide a little bit of help for a relief rally. But keep an eye on these bond auctions. That short end of the curve has not been helpful to the market overall as we're continuing to expect higher rates in the market. Let's take a look um, as we get, progress throughout the week, though. We've got Case-Shiller numbers that will be coming in. Um, we'll want to pay attention from, um, on that. Consumer confidence and then, of course, the job openings report here on um, Tuesday, we're going to have mortgage applications, ADP numbers will be coming out. And then, of course, that um, biggie right there, the GDP number, which, of course, will be very key to whether or not the market can maintain bullishness or if the, the bears can uh, follow through um, on their um, attack of the market. And then we've got international trading goods, which, which is, of course, a potential market moving report and pending home sales petroleum status and then later on the day um, we just got some bond auctions and things like that going on if we look into thursday we've got a fed member um, out there speaking we're going to get jobless claims or philly fed chicago pmi natural gas and a fed balance sheet at the end of the day and then on friday we're going to have that big employment situation number coming in PMI numbers, ISM numbers, and of course, construction spending. So as we progress through the week, we've got certainly have some data points here that could move the market substantially. So make sure you stay on your toes and stay focused on those events that are coming up. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar today, it's got a few, um, a few reports. Um, on there, but not really much for notability. So I've only put one stock on 
here for notability today. That's um, H-E-I. Uh, keep an eye on that for this report today. There is quite a little bit of just really tiny small cap today. So not really a lot of notables to move the market dramatically. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click the subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And and remember, just posting an emoji also um, um, it counts as engagement in uh, or with the video, and that helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Now, also a big shout out here this morning for folks who are willing to share this video out on their social media feed. That helps a lot. I truly appreciate it. And for those that have been uh, continuing to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video, you guys are truly awesome. Thank you so much for your kind support. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful. Make sure you're following your trading plan. Make sure you're following your risk tolerance rules and never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Well, first off, let's take a look at the dollar. The dollar has been extremely strong, just continuing to push up as those short term yields continue to rise in the expectation that um, we're going to continue to raise rates. Now, we also have that impact in here of fluctuations going on in the Japanese yen, um, substantial fluctuations going on in the Chinese yuan, and also the ruble has been struggling a lot here, um, a lot of fluctuations, and that is continuing to strengthen the dollar. Now, as we strengthen the dollar, it is interesting to me that it would not typically be the case, but we are seeing the those oil sector stocks remain quite strong. Take a look at Diamondback here. Fang, um, nice little hold after breaking through some resistance here in the chart. Nice little bullish pattern setting up here. I would watch this for that next opportunity and maybe a stretch on out of here on Fang um, as those oil prices continue to stay stubbornly high, which again, puts pressure on our inflation as oil prices go up, but we're certainly seeing them stay very, very strong here. Fang might be one to keep an eye on. Take a look at some of the refiners as well. Now, Schlumberger has slipped its trend here, pushing back down, but boy, I don't think it's out of the woods um, just yet to the downside, but if we're gonna get bullish here in the market, we want, might want to watch to see if that bullish pressure brings that right back up into those areas of the chart. Take a look at CVX. CVX Chevron here has been holding in a price support on a higher low. I would keep an eye on this too. If we're going to remain bullish in the market, we may just find that trend out here and look for that next upside opportunity coming into CVX. Speaking of other commodities, you guys know I've been mentioning this one for a while. Um, CCJ continuing to look very, very good on the uranium side of things. Um, nice little consolidating rest up here, starting to stretch on through to the upside, continuing to push up following this nice upside trend here. Um, CCJ is something I would have on the list and keep a close eye on, looking pretty good. You could also add to that list um, URA. URA's had a nice little pop here of some resistance. Got a little bit more resistance to worry about there in the chart to see if it can pop through there, but certainly maintaining a very nice bullish move to the upside. And then UUUU is also one already broken out here from the resistance, trying to put in a little higher low. Watch this out here if it can rest back into trend. Look for that next opportunity to the upside. Boy, one, I kind of pains me to say this because I do hold gold here in the market. I'm a little bit concerned about where gold is at the moment. 
uh, we've been pushing down here in this chart. Notice that we're rallying back to some price resistance. And that, even though we're trying to hold this higher low, we've broken this downtrend um, here to the, uh, I would be watching this really carefully for that potential resistance showing up here in the chart, particularly if that dollar remains strong. If that dollar continues to show strength, watch for that next opportunity for gold to move lower here in the chart. And silver is also, after bouncing back really strongly coming into some price resistance levels and you'll notice that we have a bit of a downtrend right here in this area so watch that price resistance um, that could also provide a little bit more inspiration for some downside move there in silver particularly if the dollar remains strong now if the dollar begins to weaken and um, it could weaken fast if it starts that move then watch for these um, higher lows in gold and silver to maybe play out to the upside and that would also be very very good for um, um, the energy stocks to move through to the upside let's take a quick look at um, some natural gas now interesting here in the market the natural gas has just struggled and struggled and struggled but what we're doing is we're building quite a uh, quite a pattern here of a rectangle uh, potential base here in UNG now I can't tell you yet if this is going to move to the upside um, with any confidence but I'd be watching this pattern here if if we do somehow put in a higher low here and then work to break that resistance, there could be some substantial upside opportunity in UNG, particularly thinking about the seasonality and the issues and challenges that Europe has with the Russian um, 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 uh, Russian um, Ukrainian war and um, the issues with natural gas coming from that area of the world. So watch that closely here. We may be um, reaching a seasonable um, uh, um, rally here in UNG. Let's take a look at some other stocks. My goodness, we had um, whoops, uh, Disney breaking down substantially here in the chart. This is falling through a major floor here in Disney, continuing to um, move in that downtrend. So any relief rally now, any relief rally that comes back and tests that area of re in resistance, I would be looking for a potential short in that chart. Um, looking pretty ugly overall. Now Home Depot has been struggling here. Um, it had a good earnings report on its earnings, but I'm noticing a little bit of a pattern here. We could be getting a little bit of sideways head and shoulders pattern in here. This would be the neckline if that were to break down in here. Um, any rally back to price resistance here in the chart looks like an opportunity that it could um, set up short to the downside. So keep an eye on that one. Um, let's take a look at Zoom Mobile. Now Zoom Mobile had a really good earnings report, but it has been whipsawing here quite a bit. I don't know if we're going to catch um, a little bid in here or not, but you'll notice that we've got this little support area in here. We have rallied up. If this can hold in here with that good earnings report, watch for that next opportunity to the upside. On the tech um, area, boy, a lot of the big tech giants have been struggling hard, but um, one that's been looking pretty good is whoops, Cisco. Cisco's been holding in a very, very bullish upside trend. Keep a close eye on that. Is this kind of rest out here toward the trend? As you can see, this is a big breakout and we're approaching some next resistance levels, but still looking very, very strong here on Cisco. While at the same time, <clears throat> AMD is showing a lot of concern. AMD moving down here in this trend. Any rally back to that resistance, I think could set up the next opportunity for a short in AMD. So watch that closely. A lot of back and forth here in the market. Now, one of the things that we've been kind of keeping an eye on is retail. Retail has been struggling hard here on their earnings reports, breaking down, showing that weakness of the consumer. So as these rally back, if they can find some support and rally back, I would be looking for that next opportunity to maybe pick up some short um, trades here as retail continues to struggle heavily with the weakening consumer. 
consumer. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, I'm running out of time here. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for participating with the, uh, with the Morning Market Prep video. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all great profits today, great success in your trading. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.